Last call, tonight's the free online trading course. My name's Des Woodruff here at Grok Trade. It's Tuesday, May 10th, 2011, and the markets do go bullish as expected. We have the Dow up 0.6%, the SP up 0.8%, NASDAQ over 1%, Russell's up 1.56%. Very nice run here. And the banks holding up quite well. VIX dropping 7.3%. Gold up, U.S. dollar slightly down, but also crude up by 0.51%. My latest reading here on crude oil is we're at $103.50 on crude per barrel. We're at $15.15 on gold. Natural gas is at $4.27. Yeah, so anyway, transportation holding in there quite well. And here we are looking at the S&P daily. Now, I'm going to pull in some data here. As you can see, with these two big blue lines that we have drawn, these two big lines, we're in a monster rising wedge, which is bearish. You can see that at the chart school here at freeonlinetradingeducation.com. But not only do we have that, we also have the green one going up. Now, we, we are making higher swing highs, higher swing lows, and there's still plenty of room for upside potential. However, gang, the, look at these green lines. They are pinching together. It does come to an apex. Because of that, that puts this as a rising wedge too. So we're in a rising wedge with the blue ones. And then we go into a much steeper ascent on a rising wedge here on the most recent swing highs and swing lows. Things that go up fast tend to drop fast. So I do see some immediate resistance here around 1316, which was about where we got today. And then our next one will be 1364. Be watching 1364 as resistance. And then another big one at 1369, right at the 1370 mark. But gang, look where this trend line and the blue one, these two major trend lines come together. Now I'm going to put a a resistance line right there and we need to go up a little bit I want this dead on very particular when it comes to that 1376 is going to be a huge huge area of resistance so much so now I'm going to make it red. <laughs> so if we can climb up there we'll still make higher highs higher lows but that is going to be a resistance point that we that the market's going to, have to contend with if we get up there. Now, let me share something with you here. Normally, I wouldn't share this because I'm putting myself out there a little bit. But this sort of formation, where you chop around a little bit and then you get these two candlesticks going higher. If the markets are going to do a reversal and it happens right now on this next candlestick. These can be ugly candlesticks, a big red one going down here. So what I'm really concerned with going into the markets tomorrow being as a bull is we need to clear this 1360 and stay above 1316. That is huge. So uh, mark my words on this. Put those numbers down. Write them down. Pay special attention to those. And let's go take a look at the ES. The ES um, on the run up, we have volume dissipating. We can look at the spider volume also, but not nearly as exciting or nearly as um, accurate. But we also going up on mini me volume. So we come down on huge volume, going up on little volume. So make sure you're not just a, a, a permable, meaning that you just think we should always be bullish in the markets. You have to be looking at volume to confirm price action, which leads me into what I'm going to be teaching tonight. It's a 101 basic course on trading uh, on technical analysis. I'll be talking about price action, you know, the swing high, swing lows, price action, the charts, and also how volume plays in with that price action. And I'll be um, bringing up the 
indicators and oscillators and market um, internals. There's a, really a lot to it, but I'm going to uh, make it only 30 minutes. So, and it's free to you. All you have to do is register. If you can't make it tonight, that's okay. Just get registered. Not anybody that registers, I will send a, a recording out to. So make sure you get registered. We'll get a recording out to you if you can't make it, but it's always good to be there live so you can ask your questions. That's it. Take care. Safe trading to you out there in the live markets.